it's the Whitey Show. I'm just gonna break it down. This complicated story is just this. The orcs, these massive ugly green creatures, are trying to destroy the universe. Your master, the one who's been stopping them, slips, falls, and dies. It's actually really kind of funny. You then take up the mantle. You're also apparently an idiot. But an idiot who could kill orcs is better than an idiot who doesn't in this game. That's it then. The world is doomed. Graphic-wise, the game isn't ugly, it's just not amazing. The real beauty of it is just watching hundreds and hundreds of orcs get killed. You get to see their blood and guts, and these lovely orcs get thrown into spikes and walls and smashed under pieces of metal, and it's so awesome! It's basically a gigantic killing event, and it looks so pretty. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. Gameplay-wise, Orcs doesn't try to be complicated. Orcs want to get to the portal. Your mission is to stop them from getting there. Right away, the level you have to kind of study once you start, and you get to see all the different ways the Orcs will come from to get to the portal. You also get a menu where you pick the weapons that you want to use to defend the passageways. Once you do so, get ready to plant those traps and defend the portal or portals in some levels. The orcs will come in waves, sometimes from one passage, sometimes from multiple passages. You'll also be able to use your character to defend a place with magic, bows, or his badass humongous sword. You'll want to keep the orcs by bay with your own hand, seeing as you're the most powerful thing, more powerful than any traps that you can set. However, don't die, because to resurrect yourself will cost you quite a lot of orbs. Orbs are the portal's life. If too many orcs enter the portal, eventually the portal becomes destroyed and you lose. So dying is a big no-no because you'll lose even quicker because it takes about five orbs for every time to resurrect you. Trap setting is easy and fun and watching orcs die in various ways is a joy. Mixing up traps and then upgrading your weapons and traps in that level will make for some interesting outcomes and you can switch it up next level. This will hurt. Overall, it sounds simple, but it could really get interesting the further you get in the level. Soon the levels start becoming all different ways the orcs will come, and you'll have to figure out which and what areas they'll come out from, and then try to defend it all at once while not dying, making you decide which area needs more protection than others, and which area you can go and defend yourself. Honestly, I can't even think anything bad to say about this game. It's the right amount of challenge. On Nightmare Mode, it'll destroy your puny little ass. Like, literally jam a fucking dildo up your ass. The amount of levels is nice, giving you over 5 hours of gameplay easy on one of the level of difficulty, and then you want to play again on Nightmare. I really also enjoyed uh, switching up traps and just trying all the different ones to see how they kill orcs, because it's kind of funny and awesome. Okay though, is it a perfect game? Well, no. Story-wise, it's almost non-existent. Graphic-wise, it's nothing amazing. Fun-wise, though, you know, the thing that we all play video games for, for having fun, well, Orcs Must Die is a fucking blast. I can't see anybody not liking it if they like strategy and killing Orcs. And who in the world doesn't like killing Orcs? Because if you don't like killing Orcs, you're not a true man or woman. Because killing Orcs is art, life, hood. Anyway, so I'm gonna go back to killing orcs. You should really, you know, join me. Buy this game. It's really cheap. I think it's even on sale. I give Orcs Must Die an 8.5 and hope to see more games like this where we kill orcs. Because that's what we do. We kill orcs. Rawr. That's right, my, that's my manly roar. Go kill orcs.